Hey everybody, Lance here, aka Bearded Legend. I'd like to welcome you in to another great episode here on the Bearded Down Low. First and foremost, with everything going on in the world today, I just want to say I hope you all are staying safe, staying healthy, washing your hands as much as possible, and just overall taking the most precautions that you possibly can to keep you and your family safe. Moving right on along. What I want to talk about today is something that I have really been looking forward to uh, the past couple weeks. Uh, and finally, I had a little bit of downtime today. I thought, why not? Pull the trigger on it and just do it. Uh, today, I'm going to go over my top five in order from number five to number one. My top five favorite companies of all time now this is not going to be you know i haven't used all the companies you know uh detroit grooming i have not used yet husky beard company i have not used uh luxurious bastard uh you know most of the big name brand uh bearded fox i haven't tried it yet um so maybe one day whenever I actually do pull the trigger and try one of those companies, more than likely my top five list is going to change. Um, and I currently have two orders from two separate companies that I've never used before. Uh, one, uh, I'm waiting on an order to come in from Buck and Moose Beard Company. Um, I ordered their loud uh, oil and uh, butter. And I believe that was a spicy oud type scent. I love oud type scents. Uh, the second one that I ordered from Buck and Moose was their Razzilla, which is black raspberry and vanilla. I've never used anything raspberry, black raspberry, uh, anything to that nature. So that's kind of me stepping out of my uh, scent comfort zone, you know. I figured why not? Uh, the second company I'm waiting on an order to come in from is uh, Last Looks Grooming. Um, I actually won a giveaway uh, a couple days ago. I won a $50 gift card to Last Looks Grooming. Blew my mind. I wasn't expecting it. Um, a good buddy of mine, Nazarog, uh, had a giveaway, and the fates happened to line up just right, and I was one of the lucky winners. I'm very thankful for that. So I put in an order with uh, Last Looks Grooming yesterday. I bought a oil, butter, and balm bundle in their Black Lodge scent. Uh, the scent profile was uh, Washington Forest, Black Coffee, and uh, Cherry Pie. I've never smelt those before, but I can only imagine that it's going to be great. But anyway, moving on. Back to the task at hand here. My top five companies, and I'll be going in order from number five. Five. What is that? Number five. That's some Oklahoma education right there. Number five to four, three, two, one. You know, my most overall favorite company. So, let's get into it. To kick it off, number five. My fifth most favorite company that I've used so far. Honest Amish. Um, as some of you know, if you've kept up with my channel, um, I believe this was the last review that I did. Honest Amish, man. They're simple, not overdone, great scents, great products. I have nothing bad to say about them. Uh, you know, they get rid of the beard itch, the beard drift. All around, great company. So number five, Honest Amish. Number four, Broke Ass Beard Supply. I absolutely love this. Um, I'll give a little bit of a backstory on this particular company. Um, my number one most favorite cologne of all time, I highly doubt there will ever be another cologne that I like more than this, is Versace Eros. That's A number one, my most favorite cologne of all time. 
Uh, I was actually watching a Dan C. Uh, Dan C. Bearded review video on Brocass. And he said that they were a cologne uh, scented company. And when he said that they had scent number 13, which was scented as Versace Eros, right then and there, I made my mind up. I'm ordering that. Because what's better than a good beard oil? A beard oil that smells like your favorite cologne. And not only just beard oil and beard grooming products, I am big into colognes as well. My family knows it. My close friends know it. So my birthday, uh, we do Valentine's Day gifts. Any occasion that, you know, merits the use of a gift of any sort, I get colognes. I love colognes. And like I said, Versace Eros is my number one most favorite cologne. So when I heard Dan C. say that there was a Versace Eros beard oil, I knew right then and there I had to get it. I ordered it, smelled it, smells just like the real deal. Just like the real deal. Um, I actually have a, a couple uh Five or six different scents from them. Awesome, awesome company. And they just recently released butters. So not only can you get an oil and a balm, but now you can also get a balm, uh, oil, balm, and a butter. So I'm definitely going to be snagging one of those. So number four, broke ass beard supply. Moving on, number three. Now my top three, I'll take just a second here. My top three, this is when it really started to get difficult. I was sitting down and I was really taking the scents in and I was going over the companies uh, and the different products that they offer um, surrounding my top three favorite. This was the hardest, number two and number three. Uh, we're really neck and neck. Um, but moving on. Number three. Black Rebel Beard Company. Black Rebel. The owner, Pedro. He has got the beard game down. I mean, he has it down solid. If you've ever used any of... Black Rebel Beard Company's products, you already know. I don't have to go into great detail about how great they are. And he just released uh, the Bronco Buster set. Uh, that's another review for another time. I'm not going to get too into detail with that right here. Um, Black Rebel Beard Company, they also offer a monthly subscription service. Uh, a mystery scent. He doesn't tell you the name. Uh, he doesn't tell you the scent profile. Uh, you get it in the mail and it has a little identification card. It tells you the name of it. It tells you the scent profile. And I'm subscribed to his monthly mystery scent of the month. And I absolutely love it. And again, those are separate videos for separate uh, occasions. Uh, all around. Black Rebel Beard Company, they have the scent game down. Uh, if you love a good, strong, bold, cologne-scented oil, Go Devil. Um, I smelled the Go Devil, and that sucker knocked my socks off. Go Devil, phenomenal. Uh, but, you know, all of their scents are awesome and I have every single scent that they have uh, Vigilante that's their take on the classic barbershop uh, most people in my opinion they tend to overdo the barbershop scents with adding this adding this take away this and you know just over tweaking it in my own personal opinion Black Rebel they pretty much stuck true to the barbershop scent so what you imagine what a barbershop would smell like Black Rebel Beer Company, The Vigilante. Uh, I actually have in today uh, 
Black Rebel Beard Company. I have in the uh, Comanche, which is their take on a uh, vanilla tobacco, and I believe it was a, a hint of cinnamon as well. So not only is it tobacco vanilla, which most of us like, but it also has in that extra kiss of, you know, just a little something extra with that cinnamon, and it really elevates it. So number three, Black Rebel Beard Company. Number two, again, number two and number three were really neck and neck. Number two, Miners Beard Company. I have grown such a great rapport with just about all the owners from Miners Beard Company. There's four owners, uh, Mike Hall, Beth Hall, Gary Caserta and his brother Brian Caserta. I've talked with every single one of them. All of them are just amazing down-to-earth people. Uh, they just did a live on Instagram this past Thursday, and they were praying. They asked if they could say a prayer, you know, for the nation, and, you know, this virus and stuff like that. Pray for protection. And... So not only do they offer some of the most complex, if you want a company that offers complex scents and kind of off the beaten path scents that really no one else has, Miner's Beard Company, they have the scent game down. They are solid. Uh, good company, great people. I cannot say enough great things about that. And I'm not saying that you know just because i use our products i i know them fairly well personally uh, they are genuinely passionate about their company and they are passionate about their customers and their safety of their customers amazing company uh, amazing company i absolutely love them um uh, you know if they watch this video you guys have a customer for life uh and they're getting ready to release April 1st, I believe they said April 1st, they're coming out with a new oil called the Jekyll Experience. They're doing a collaboration with Wild Schwein Grooming. Wild Schwein is doing uh, Mr. Hyde, and Miner's Beard is doing the Jekyll Experience. And I believe, uh, from the best of my understanding, that they're both going to drop the same day. Uh, you know who's getting one. This guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, Miner's Beard Company. Second favorite company of all time. And I highly doubt that one changes. Uh, moving on. My number one most favorite company of all time. Uh, and you know, you, you've seen my four previous companies that I've used so far. I've used quite a few different companies, not just these here, but I also have many more, uh, that I've used. Hands down, my number one most favorite company of all time that I've ever used so far that I love. As you see here. Ferocious Beard Company. Again, another great backstory on this. Uh, I seen their company. I put an order in. Um, and I got to talking with the owner, Nate Powell. Uh, just casual conversation. Just asking him about his business, where they found it, and all that. And said he was in Fort Worth, Texas. Well, I'm in Oklahoma. And I got to looking it up on my phone. Well, you're only four hours straight south of me. Uh, I messaged him, hey, I ordered three beard oils. I said, hey, instead of you shipping that to me, do you mind if I come down and meet you personally and pick up my order? Because on the weekends, he also goes to a farmer's market and sets up a little booth to where he sells his products there as well. Uh, so not only does he do online sales, but he also goes to these farmer's markets uh, and sells his products there. So we, you know, we uh, adjusted our schedules and found a good day that would work for both of us. Um, my wife and I and our two-year-old, we drove down. 
Uh, we met Nate. I got to smell all the products that he had. Um, I picked my order up and talking with Nate, he's such a down-to-earth, soft-spoken guy. Um, I absolutely love Ferocious Beard Company. Um, while we were down there, uh, he was showing my wife their Cherico Mint, as I have here. Cherico Mint. It is cherry tobacco mint. She fell in love with that. That wasn't even a product that I ordered. I didn't order that scent. Uh, she fell in love with that. So, naturally, she bought me it. Uh, it was some weeks later, but uh, she asked me, hey, what was that scent that I really liked? I was like, Jericho Mint. And she had just told me, no more beard oil. No, no nothing. You've spent too much money. And then that's when she was asking me about that. She's like, well, I'll buy you this one, and then no more. You buy me whatever you want to buy me. But uh, Ferocious Beard Company, I absolutely love the company. They are my number one favorite. Their wash. Ferocious Beard has my ultimate favorite wash, hands down, I've ever used. Um, it's really liquidy. I mean, it comes out like water, and it only takes not even a dime, like half a dime size. You know, and I've got a pretty thick, big beard, half of a dime size, and it suds up so much. I absolutely love it. So, number one favorite company... Who takes the cake, who takes the blue ribbon, wave the checker flag, run on the final lap, the winner, Ferocious Beard Company. So just a little recap, my number five favorite, Honest Amish. Number four favorite, Broke Ass Beard Supply. My third favorite, Black Rebel Beard Company. Second favorite, Miner's Beard Company. And again, number one, Ferocious Beard Company. So those are my personal favorite, top five favorite companies that I've used so far. In another video, I'll get into specific scents from these companies that I like. But overall, those are my top five. So, that's going to conclude today's video here. I am the Bearded Legend. And if you haven't already, go down, hit the subscribe button. While you're there, you might as well give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. You're going to come back for another video. You know you want to. Hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. So, until we meet again, be legendary.